Hi and welcome to Flash Game Filler. Uh, this is going to be a Friday series where uh, basically I look very quickly at a Flash game and basically rate it out of five and tell you whether I actually think it's worth playing or not or does anything particularly good or particularly unusual about it. Today we're starting with Enchanted Cave 2, which of course is a sequel to Enchanted Cave 1, which most of you have probably never played. It's kind of a role-playing game, but not. The story is very simple. There is this enchanted cave, and as you can see, heroes go down into it, and they gather materials and they to enchant and upgrade their equipment, and they try and find kind of enchanted equipment which is this gold equipment anything that isn't gold vanishes when you leave the cave which sounds very boring and the fact that well I can show you what the combat is like right now there we go that's the combat it's not exactly very involved but I have to say I played this game through about two weeks ago and I in all honesty, I thoroughly enjoyed it. I don't know why I enjoyed it. I shouldn't have, but I did. And I think it's probably the fact that it is such a simple game. You explore mazes. You kill monsters. You open chests. Like, I just got a nice little health potion. You find hidden passages and gather gold and get a nice piece of gear like hard leather boots, which I think I already have. Yeah, I do. Okay. And, you know, it's... It has a little story, which I'll show you right now. Uh, when you go over these, it's like day one. The fools have no idea of the power in this. Idiots with their morals. Degrading humanity to a worthless state with no concept of true knowledge. I will have to study on my own in this cave. It is dark and cold, but empty and dry. I see a lot of potential here. And you do, over the course of this game find out more of that story and eventually you do confront the guy the writer of the story and really that's basically what it's about it's a rather unforgiving dungeon crawler with minimal combat with minimal combat um, uh, controls like you basically you adjust your capabilities in combat by just making sure you have the best gear possible so that you have a chance of killing enemies that are considerably more powerful than you. You get experience for each kill and I'm basically I'm going to finish this episode by showing the level up system which I have to say for a flash game is actually rather good. Now, I am a huge Flash game fan. I spend most of my evenings playing Flash games while watching the television. I really enjoy them. I think that they are... One of the best things about the internet is the fact that you can play these completely free games. Some of them are crap. A lot of them are crap. But some of them are truly amazing. And this isn't one of those. But it is fun. It's a lot of fun. And it's kind of mindless, but, you know, that's the way it goes. Okay, so we've leveled up. I'm currently at level 5. Now, I did start this character out because I wanted to be able to show. You have your 5 stats. You can, ca you can stat out your character to be a magic user or a melee character. I'm going, I always go melee and I tend to go with a glass cannon approach. So, here we go. You have three skill points per level. So, let's say this has been brought out all the way as far as here. Great. But I need more damage, damn it. So, I'm going to go that. And, oh, look. It's a critical chance. So, we're going to do that. And it's really that simple. That's the leveling up. It's fast. It's simple. It's actually quite enjoyable. And... I'm going to, the last thing I want to show in this is the... Well, you can see now I, I can one-shot bats, which is awesome. Uh, 
one of the one of the things I want to show about this game is how items that you've gathered vanish when you go back to the town and how you go back to the town which is it's a bit different and it's actually it makes you think about running home to ba to Mamba before you do because potentially you can lose a lot some of the most powerful weapons in this game aren't gold and you leave and you lose them and it can be painful so I just finished clearing out this well I might actually go down to the next uh, the next I think there's one more area after this and there should be a shop or is it floor 10 I can never remember no it's every tenth yeah every roughly every tenth it's not always every tenth sometimes it's every 20th floor there is a shop where you can well buy stuff but there's also a forging area where you can upgrade your equipment I'm hoping to find one of those um, yeah, keep going. Ah, perfect. This is exactly what I wanted to show. This is the second last aspect I want to show. Okay, so I picked up... Uh, okay, yeah, they're perfect. So what you do is if you go here and you click on Enchant while you're in the forging, the crafting area, you open up this and then you go through to your crafting materials and as you can see I have this which is gives me health point restore or this which gives me defense or critical chance or this which gives me attack so I'm gonna go with that and I'm gonna go with that and oh I can only use that in portions so that doesn't work so what I can do is I enchant I go back to items I enchant and yeah, that will do. And now when I go back in, my stats relevant to that piece of equipment have changed. This is the unstat unchanged one, and this is the upgraded one. As you can see, my defense and my attack have increased because of it. Cool. Now, when you want to leave these dungeons, you click on the escape wings and it asks you if you really want to leave. Now, you saw all the stuff I had in my inventory. You get your little, you know, what did you do, level ups one, stat gems, yada yada. Pretty standard. But everything I found, including the crafting materials, gone. Poof. Never existed. And that's the game in a nutshell. It's all about deciding whether it's worth risking going down one more level and possibly losing everything anyway, or going back to the town and losing everything before you can sell it or before you can use your enchantment material to upgrade your equipment. Do I recommend this as a game? Actually, yes. It is very, very simple, but it's not immensely long. You'll get about three to four hours of gameplay out of it. It's three to four hours of free gameplay. It's three to four hours of actually quite enjoyable gameplay that you can comfortably play while watching television. Nothing is there's nothing too involved in it. It's mostly a question of okay, if I boost this stat, will it mean that I can survive the next area? That's the level of involvement in it. But it gives you all of the the satisfaction of gathering loot selling loot and numbers going up rather quickly uh, rating probably 4 out of 5 to give it 5 out of 5 there would have to be 2 things that I would like to see added in Enchanted Cave 3 if there's a third one made and that would be those would be that your model changes with the equipment and also that the combat became a little bit more involved where maybe you get one, two or three attacks and you choose between the attacks. Something like that. Something to make you feel a little bit more involved. Quests might not be a bad thing either, but uh, yeah. Anyway, as I said, four out of five. Um, I play this on onelevel.com. It's by Dojo Games. 
and it's it's good fun. It is good, free fun. Play it. You won't regret it. Talk to you all again soon. Bye.